Good morning, I win today. Good morning, my friends, and whoever that is connected to this channel, to this video, God bless you in Jesus' name. I want to talk briefly on a topic to encourage us by titled our situations as Christians. As Christians, our situations are not meant to impair us, but to improve us. When you look around you today, when you look or venture into the highway of life, what you see is frightening. Look left, economic oppression, right, physical oppression. You look front, you see religious and moral oppression. You see, you look back, you see, you see demonic oppression. You see Satan using man's unrighteousness as a weapon for his purpose, which is to kill, steal, and destroy. But as Christians, it is never proper to allow our present circumstances to cause us to doubt the fulfillment of God's promise in our lives. If you remember the words of Jesus in the book of John, chapter 16, verse 33, when he said, In this world there will be trouble, there will be tribulations, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Jesus was also talking as a prophet. He was telling us that there will be trouble, there will be tribulations that will challenge our faith in a new way. That if we don't take time, we might deny our sonship. What is your challenge? What is your situation? Prophet T.B. Joshua told us and taught us that challenges are meant to separate impurities. They are meant to strengthen our desire for God. They are meant to stop us a while in order to prepare us. They are meant to draw us closer to God. The reason why you should run away to, from God is the reason why you should run to Him. What are you going through? Sickness, poverty, disease, hatred, whatever it is. Jesus Christ has given us a word of hope. Be of good cheer. If you check the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 7 to 10. Okay, let's, let's check and read the account of Apostle Paul. The book of Corinthians is after the book of Romans. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 7. I read, And a test, unless I should be exalted above measure, by the abundance of revelations, a thorn in my flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan sent to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning these things, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. Meaning, God knows about it. If God has a knowledge of it, if God allows it, it's meant for his glory. It's meant to prepare us for the challenges ahead. God cannot risk not preparing you for where he's taking you to because high places are slippery places. Ask any successful man today and they will tell you how many challenges, how many name callings, blackmail they faced before coming to the position they occupy. So what are you going through? I've come here to encourage you today. Don't lose hope. It is never proper to allow our present circumstances, situations, to cause us to doubt the fulfillment of God's promise in our lives. No matter what you are going through. The Bible says, count it all joy. When you face different temptations, afflictions, for the testing of our faith produces perseverance. So for a Christian, it's a way of life. Mm. For a Christian, challenges are a way of life. So don't doubt your God. Don't allow your challenges to overwhelm you by responding 
intellectually or emotionally and be overwhelmed by your situations. Because certain issues in our lives that happen naturally might have extraordinary effects in the spirit. Don't forget that the spirit controls the natural, the physical. Don't doubt God's fulfillment in your life because of your challenges. What is your challenge? Is it poverty, sickness, disease, hatred, blackmail? They are meant to prepare us for the challenges ahead. They are meant to separate impurities. God is not good until he passes through fire. Same way human character has to pass through the fullness of tribulation, temptation, name calling, hatred, whatever your own challenge is. Continue to trust God. Continue to believe in Him because God is working out the answer. Apostle Paul, some of them are our mirror today. Face challenges. Same way we Christians have to face challenges. Our challenges might, might be camouflaged differently. But one thing is sure. If God allows it, if God is aware of it, it will improve you, not impair you. So continue to trust God. Don't lose hope. God is working out the answer. Slowly but surely. Thank you. I pray. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus Christ, give us enough grace to face each trial that you bring our way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us to run a straight race with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, help us to run a straight race. Whatever there is a challenge in our life, Father, that you allow, let it bring us closer to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen and amen. Good morning. I'm with today. Shalom.